U.S. won't discuss American detained in Ukraine. This is despicable that they won't say anything about this. You know, we had a um, uh, basketball player, uh, uh, what's her name, Brittany, Brittany over there, Brittany Griner over there. She's uh, uh, actually broke the law. She uh, was <laughs> was carrying marijuana, even though it's illegal in that country. But you got then there was a big uproar about it, which I understand. I'm not going to be too mad about that. But then now you got an American over there in Ukraine and detained for using free speech. And you don't hear anything from the mainstream media. You don't hear anything from our politicians. They won't even speak about it. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. And also check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news. All right, let's talk about this news. The State Department has refused to say if it's engaging with the Ukrainian government over American citizen Gonzalo Lira who was detained by the Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, due to his political viewpoints on the conflict with Russia. Now, who else that we know of <laughs> that uh, would lock up dissidents for speaking out or speaking up against them? Uh, I'll let y'all let that simmer in for a minute. We all know what was really who, who really is um, running Ukraine from the symbols and things that they put up. But uh, Lyra and the popular YouTube channel, um, I'm sorry, uh, Lyra has a popular YouTube channel and a large following on Twitter and Telegram. He's also a writer who has contributed to several media outlets, including Business Insider. So he's a journalist. Lyra was born in California and is a dual citizen of U.S. and Chile and had been uh, living in uh, Car Kharkiv, Ukraine throughout the war. Lyra is a critic of the Ukrainian government and was arrested by the SBU on charges of justifying the Russian invasion. Quote, after the start of the full scale invasion, the blogger was one of the first to support the Russian invaders and glorify their war crimes. The SBU said in the press release referring to uh, Lyra. So imagine <clears throat> in this country. Uh, uh, people that spoke out against the Iraq war actually being arrested and put in jail. It'll be an uproar, right? But it's okay to come from uh, Ukraine. Why is that? But the SBU also accused Lyra of, quote, discrediting the top military and political leadership and the defense focus of our state. He was charged under Section 2 and, R and 3 of Article 436-2, of Ukraine's criminal code, which outlaws the distribution of materials that justify Russia actions going back to 2014. Uh, Epic Times reporter Liam Cosgrove asked the State Department spokesman Matthew Miller if the administration was aware of Lear's detainment and how the U.S. feels about Ukraine arresting an American for speech. Quote, so I will say in general that we are aware of the report. We obviously support the exercise of freedom of speech anywhere in the world and I'll leave it at that, Miller said. And that's, uh, but you don't hear anything about negotiations or anything like that. <clears throat> when asked if the administration was working to secure Lear's release, Miller said, quote, I'm going to leave my comments where I just left them, of course. Uh, Cosgrove also asked Rep. Ted Lou and Marjorie Taylor Greene about Lear's detainment. Lou said that he wasn't aware of uh, the case, but said U.S. citizens should, quote, have the ability to express their thoughts and views and that he would look into the arrest. Responding to the news, Green told uh, Cosgrove, quote, America is providing weapons, equipment for the defense of their country, but the Ukrainian government is not going to defend any Americans' freedom of speech, and that's the real problem. I love that point. I love that point. Um, when Lear's arrest, received virtually no attention in the uh, Western media. One of the few outlets to cover it was the Daily Beast, which smeared the American instead of questioning the charges. Of course, the Daily Beast don't care anything about free speech. We know how they are for censorship and things like that. But according to the Beast, Lear is facing five to uh, eight years in prison just by 
you just by uh, uh, using his his speech, freedom of speech, which we thought all Americans have, but of course, um, like they said, Ukraine would never speak, would never allow uh, uh, freedom of speech in their country because we know what they really are. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.